Hey, gorgeous. How you do? Hiya, Mikey. Caught any intruders? Nah, but I wouldn't mind catching a little redhead. Ah, knock it off, Mike. Sorry. I just hate to see a beautiful dame go to waste. You think I'm beautiful? Are you kidding? You are a goddess. You are like a moonbeam. You're like the stars. You're like, like scrambled eggs. Sorry. I just love scrambled eggs. Mm, just wish Duncan felt the same way. Hey, you don't want to get mixed up with Duncan. Besides, I thought he and Tess were going to get married. Oh, Tess won't marry anybody. She doesn't have to. She already has everything she wants. That's the truth. What? Nothing. How about a drink? Ooh, I'd love one. <laughs> Every bottle in this house is empty. Well, I know where Duncan keeps a little stash. Oh, you better uh, bundle up. It's going to be getting cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She was such a sweet child. I raised her. I kept her from harm. And now this rathscallion enters the picture and I'm swept aside after 20 years of service. This would have never happened if Dr. and Mrs. Conway were still alive. They should have never gone on that safari. Well, I can't live in the past. You'll never believe this, but one of the maids mistook Miss Conway's Egyptian clock for a vase. She put flowers in it and filled the thing with water. It leaked all over the place. It's got more holes than Swiss cheese. We're just lucky the water didn't damage the floor. Oh, good Lord, Tess would be furious. You know, I think she loves that clock more than Duncan. <laughs> yes, I've noticed that her interest in Mr. DeVries has wanes since he obtained the clock for her. You don't... You don't think there's a connection, do you? Oh, poor Duncan.
You know, I had a dickens of the time with those bugs. I sent an exterminator into the cellar, but he never came back.
I say, Robert, you haven't been meddling with my specimens, have you? Uh, what specimens were these, Mr. Fleming? In particular, my dung balls. Uh, you mean those little clots of manure? <laughs> those clots of manure, as you call them, were once pushed by the scarab beetles of Amun Ra. Well, they have ample followers now. Why do you say that? I dispatched them to the sewer. Would you get me a plunger, Robert? <laughs> 